Hello, good morning or good evening to everyone. Welcome to Main Dream Tutorials. So today I'm going to show you some important practical tutorial on mainframe that is a topic called align commands. So this would be very very much helpful uh, when you are new to the mainframe or when you're working with the, uh, the mainframe or interested to learn mainframe. So, so far uh, we have seen a different kinds of videos on COBOL, JCL, DB2, VZAM, CICS and PLBAR1 and uh, have been continuously posting uh, different videos on practical tutorials. So, this would, this video is continuation to the practical tutorial so which might help you on practicing this line commands and how do we use this line commands on the mainframe. So, to, in order to work this so I need to connect to the mainframe terminal and I will be showing you so what are the various line commands that we will be using in mainframe so before that we need to create an empty data set or a PS file so let me connect to the mainframe and show you how we see so first I have created an empty data set here and that is a PS file so if you want to see the properties of it you can see uh, it's a PS file and I'm trying to open this file in the edit mode okay so if I want to write by default it will open the empty data set with all these lines so okay empty lines okay so what I can do is uh, I will try to enter some text here like welcome to mainframe tutorials okay so after entering the mainframe tutorials you can see once you press enter so all the lines has been closed here so if you want to continue or if you want to enter few more lines so what you can do is here we have an, a command called insert line okay so we have uh, the first command called insert insert line okay so this can be used with the help of i and uh, we have uh, it's i and a, a numeric n okay so how to do that so if you want to enter a new line so just type as i and enter it so you can have a empty line or a empty row created here or if you want to enter a multiple line so here n stands for multiple line i stands for a single line if you want to repeat the line blank lines uh, for a i mean for n number of times so you can do that so if I want to have it for 5 so I can insert 5 lines or if I want to ha insert a 10 line so then type n 10 it will insert the new 10 lines and you can write enter your values so that is COBOL we will see COBOL DB2 CICS JCL VZAM PLBAR1 Okay, PLR one uh, and TSO, ISPF, and so on. So with this way, uh, we have completed our first uh, line command that is a insert line. So this was the first insert line command. So to repeat it again, so either you can use the I single I to insert or a I plus a number so that it can insert a multiple line. So now we will what I want to do is just I want to repeat the same line okay if I want to repeat this welcome to mainframe tutorials for a multiple times or a only one time so we have an a one command called uh, R so when you type R so it will repeat a line okay so repeat line so I'll say I'll type it here as repeat line okay okay when you type R Okay, it will repeat the line if you want to uh, repeat the same line for multiple times okay if uh, say I want to repeat these for five times so then press R and Phi so it will repeat the line for five times so R for by number for example example R and Phi okay so that the line will be repeated for the five times okay or if you want to repeat the group of lines so here what you are you are uh, uh, you here you're just repeating only one line so if you want to repeat a group of lines so suppose I want to repeat this uh, welcome to mainframe tutorial and COBOL or a COBOL DB2 I want to repeat it one twice these are group right do group right so I want to repeat this R R and one time so by default I mean it will repeat only one time so you can see a cobalt db2 cobalt db2 is repeated one times or else I want to repeat this uh, from here 
R to JCL, okay, RR. So you can see it's a group is repeat, right? So in the same way for a group repeat, so we call this as a uh, group repeat. R E eighty, uh, okay. So RR is the command to repeat the group. Or if you want to repeat the same group for multiple times, so what it could be? So it could be same like n, okay. So n is a number. So if I want to repeat this group, okay, this repeat this group for five times, okay, I can do it for four times. So just type it as a four, so that you can see it's repeated four times, okay. So in this way, the repeat command will be helpful, okay. So so far we have seen a line. Uh, insert line command and the repeat command I mean that uh, repeat lines so in the in repeat we can repeat only a single line or a group of lines okay so now we are good so now we have, we know how to insert a lines and how to we repeat the lines and the group of repeats group of lines to repeat it so now we will see how do we delete the lines so if I want to delete these particular lines so just uh, press T and enter so it will delete the, this particular row okay so delete line so I specify it as delete line okay so just specify D multiple delete lines multiple lines to delete okay just specify D and N so that it will delete a multiple lines so either see you can d2 so it will delete two lines or we if you want to delete a group or a block of the block of lines so the same way how we did for a repeat line so we can do the same thing so you just type it as dd okay and dd enter so it will delete a group right so in this way we can uh, use the delete uh, line so this is very very helpful the repeat line the delete line and insert line so far we have seen three different uh, different lines that can be used right so in the same way if you want to copy a line okay a uh, copy a lines okay so what you can do is uh, C okay if I want to copy this particular line okay C and enter okay and you have to paste it somewhere right so copy uh, and then if you have to press after so that it will get it will paste this line after this particular line okay so I have copied this and I have pasted it here so once you specify C so you can see a statement right move or copy is pending so where do you want to paste this so I want to paste this uh, COBOL after the line this welcome to mention tutorial so just you type it as a and press enter so that it will paste it oh the same word is copied over here so if you want to copy a multiple lines simple so cc okay a group of lines cc enter okay see again you can see a move or copy is pending so you can again say where do you want to paste it just a after so it will paste it okay or uh, if you want to we'll see some other things C phi okay it will cut the file lines and after you can see it has been pasted so this is how uh, a copy copy line command works so this is the copy line copy line so you have to use C or CC a group copy it is for a group copy it's for a group copy and after copying so you have to paste it as type it as i a sorry so it means after that is where you want to paste it where you want to paste the copy row okay so this is for group copy so in this way we can use a copy line okay now you have seen a insert line repeat line move line sorry a delete line and a copy line so now we will see a move line so if you want to move this so this was about the copy right so the earlier one was copying a few lines from one uh, from what row to another row so you have repeating 
okay you are copying the data so now I want to move these particular three lines from this part to after this welcome to my intern tutorial so how to do that so we have a move command M and I can say after so you can see that move is copied uh, this entire row has been moved to this particular row if you want to move a group of uh, words or a group of rows, ro uh, rows so you can see mm 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 and after so that it will be moved okay so in this way you can uh, move a multiple lines so the other statements we have learned is a move line move line uh, for a single row you can use uh, M and for a multiple you can use MM okay so that's how uh, a move line works so the always the destination should always be with A okay A stands for after and B stands for before so we have seen like uh, I am seeing uh, like M and I am saying like uh, A right after means it will repeat after this okay if I see uh, M and if I say B sorry B it will page before this cobalt so A stands for after and B stands for before so this is nothing but so these are the destination commands that indicates that A after and B as a before okay okay so so far you have seen uh, different uh, line commands that is the first one was insert line and second one was re repeat line so in repeat you have seen a single repeat and uh, multiple repeats and a group repeats okay and the same way delete line you have seen a single delete and multiple deletes and a group repeat group deletes so uh, copy line so copy and uh, you have to see the destination thing so copying after after a stands for after where you want to paste is and you you will also have a before which stands for before uh, before which row or from where you want to copy so you can you also seen a group copy then we have seen a move line that is a single move and a multiple loon uh, sorry multiple move okay now we will see something other uh, statements other line commands suppose I have written these DB2 okay in a lowercase okay I'll say it as caps of okay so I have written this is as a in lowercase letters okay this DB2 so I wanted to convert these into an uppercase so you just type it as you see so that it will convert this entire row into an uppercase okay so or else if you want to convert this particular low uh, data into a lowercase letter so you can see just type it as LC so that it will convert into a uh, lowercase okay so LC5 okay so for a number of lines so I have converted all these lines into uh, all these particular particular five rows into a lowercase if I want to convert these all these uh, five lines into uppercase just up C U C and press 5 so that all these five rows or five records will be converted into an uppercase okay so this would be also a very very much helpful to you so uh, that is uppercase and lowercase so just to, to try to practice these are uh, uh, different commands so we have seen uppercase uh, that is U C and uh, lowercase that is uh, LC okay for multiple times uh, <coughs> sorry uh, for multiple lines you will be using uh, UC and uh, followed by number and for LC LC followed by number so so these are the different important line commands that we have learned today in this video I hope you got a lot of information on uh, how do we use these line commands on mainframe while working with the different data sets or doing some practical things or it, it can be these commands will be very much useful uh, when you're writing a COBOL program or when you're writing a JCL when you're writing a DB2 programs or when you're trying to open the PS files where you have some data and where it will be these commands very very much helpful regarding when you are doing the testing right so you might receive some test data from different clients or someone else so by 
where they, he would be sending only five lines of data and if you want to uh, copy the data multiple times and repeat times so these insert lines will be very much helpful to you okay so try to practice as and more uh, as and many times these uh, line commands so I, I guarantee you this will be uh, this will very much uh, this will help you a lot and it would save you a lot of time uh, if you are trying to use this uh, uh, insert line commands okay uh, sorry uh, all the line commands okay thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video kindly please share or subscribe or comment on my youtube channel so thank you so much have a great and pleasureful day or any